Hey, Hustas, how y'all doing today? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I thought I heard something over here. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I think that's my... My pan heating up, y'all. Who how was y'all Thanksgiving, honey? I don't want to see no more Thanksgiving food. What wasn't put in the freezer is now in the garbage. What was left over. So today, I said, what do I want to eat? I'm going to smother some uh, some uh, pork steaks. Uh, I'm going to do some okra. Uh, uh, I'm going to smother the okra as well. I'm going to put some corn in it and some diced tomatoes. And then I'm going to just do a simple pot of buttered rice because I'm having all the seasonings in the okra and on the steak. So, y'all want to cook with me today? Yes, you do. So, come on. We're going to get these steak seasoned. So, let me turn you around. And then I'm going to tell y'all what seasoning we're going to use. Yes, y'all. I dyed my hair. And it is growing. Look at that. Yes. Okay, y'all. Let's get ready. First, let me show you, y'all. These are my seasonings that's going to be on the market at, at, at some moment. Uh, look at that. Look at that goodness in there. We're going to season the steaks with this. So, come on over here and let's season. The steak have already been washed and dried and so let's get it started. Oh y'all this seasoning smells so good and don't don't be scared to use it when you get your bottle. Let that season to be showed on these steaks, child. On all your meat, that is. I mean, all of it. And uh, let me uh, uh, add to y'all that it's very, very little salt in here. But your meat will be so freaking flavorful, y'all. So, I'm going to pat that in. You know, I'm going to always have one dry hand and one wet hand. So, after I get through patting this in, I'm going to wash my hands because we're going to have to flip this meat. Oh, man, that smells so good. Flip it, flip it, because we're going to do the same thing on the reverse side. Y'all, yeah, flip your meat and get it all seasoned. And this was three, uh, three uh, uh, pork steak, and I just cut them in half, y'all. Let me wash this hand. And I have my, my oil getting warm over here. So, and we're gonna fry these without flour, y'all. So, I'm gonna move this pan out of the way. We're gonna be doing our okra in that pan. Okay. My stomach growling. Y'all had fun for Thanksgiving. I hope y'all did too. I seen some things on YouTube. Some family photos and food and all that. Goodness. It's good to be with family. But don't let just the two holidays bring you together. Maybe three if y'all get together on Easter. 
don't let that be the only time you see your family because one thing I am passionate about is loving on them while they are alive because you know so many people um oh that smells so good so many people do that and then when somebody die everybody comes to the funeral and then they crying over somebody that's dead because you didn't give them their flowers when they were alive we gotta stop that I don't care if it takes you one hour to and from to go to your family do it at least one other week you don't have to go every day but love on the people that are alive love on them honey mash that in too on this side y'all I wish y'all can smell this that seasoning blend is the bomb Mm, 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 mm. Woo hoo, baby. Let's get them ready. Let me wash my hands. Uh oh, I better not sing, child. Oh, my battery getting so low. I'm probably gonna have to pause, y'all, and uh, plug it in. Yes, y'all. Y'all know I like to uh, clean as I go. Now, in that skillet, y'all, this cast iron skillet it is, I see it curling. Um, we have some vegetable oil in here, very little, because I only want to brown. I don't want to cook, because we're going to make some gravy with that, y'all. We're going to make some gravy with it. So, I hear it. Oh, yeah. Y'all here? Let me bring y'all closer. Oh, yeah. Just want to brown it. Just browning it, y'all. So, once I get all these brown, I'll be right back because then we're going to get ready to do that stove top gravy and then we'll get into the okra bye y'all no ain't no bye we'll be back okay y'all we back look at this beautiful browned steak y'all just brown it y'all not cooking it through so in this pan i'm gonna add about a quarter cup a quarter cup of vegetable oil and it got all them juices in now do y'all see them juices it has some oil in here let me show y'all how much it is it's about very uh uh uh, uh take maybe a tablespoon i'm gonna add just a little bit more maybe a quarter one fourth of a cup yeah about that much and then i'm gonna add in about a tablespoon maybe three tablespoons you know almost as equal to the oil that's in here y'all and because that's how we're going we're going to make that gravy so let's get a fork and we're going to stir that because we don't want no lumpy gravy and i have this on medium low because oh yeah that's gonna be just right y'all that's just how i want it oh it is getting up all them good juices from them steak juices baby that's just what i want you see it i'm gonna cook that low and slow because i want to get that a little brown we're gonna get that brown y'all low and slow don't burn your flour because you don't want to have to start all over. 
and you don't want your gravy uh, uh, tasting like flour either. So you want it to cook low and slow. You know, sometimes if you don't have that much time, a little Jamaican brownie uh, will give you some beautiful brown color. But I like my flour to get brown because I'm cooking it down so it won't taste like uh, flour, y'all. So we're going to cook that a little bit more. Once we get this to my desired color that I like, you can cut it off when you want to do it. Me, I want a boo-boo color, kind of, sort of. We're going to put the steak back in here and the juices that's also on here from the steak, we're going to incorporate that back in because you want so much flavor. And then, y'all, we're going to add in, before we put the meat in, we're going to add in, uh, I have two celery sticks with the leaves. I have a half of a, a bell pepper. I do have a half of a large onion and I have about four uh, fresh garlic cloves, not chopped, but sliced. That is going to go in the um, flour when it gets to my desired color. Cook that down for about three to five minutes, and then we're going to add the steak in there as well. I'm also going to include some beef a bouillon, a better than beef bouillon in here as well, just because I want to, because everybody want to add chicken broth, and I'm not going to do it. I'll be adding in maybe a tablespoon of better than, uh-oh, oh, I'm trying to give to somebody else the better than bouillon, y'all, in this gravy as well. So, I'll be back once I get this to my desired color. It's getting there, y'all. See, it's almost like making the roux for the gumbo that we did. So, we'll be back shortly, baby. Hey, sisters, we back. You see that beautiful brownness in there? That's the color that I want, y'all. So, we're going to go ahead now and we're going to add in the onion, the celery, and the bell pepper. We'll come back with the garlic later because you don't want to overcook your garlic because it makes it quite bitter. So, go ahead and add that in. And like I said, we'll come back. Let's give that a stir. And we're going to cook this. Oh, that smells good. We're going to cook this down for about three minutes, y'all. On a medium low, that is. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. Get that all incorporated in there. Because, honey, this is going to be some goodness, baby. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. We're going to uh, put a little bit this this uh, seasoning in here. You know, you know seasoning layers, y'all. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Ooh, baby, the smell up in this place. So y'all, we'll be back after this has cooked for about three minutes. We'll come back and add the meat. All right, sisters, this have cooked down. I've also added the garlic. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add these steaks in here. Yes, they will overlap each other and that is okay. Put that one that way. Yeah. These little ones can just lay right on top. And y'all remember, I told y'all about that, that juice from the steak. We're going to incorporate all that. Ooh, baby. Can't go wrong. Next, you're going to come in, you're going to raise your temperature up, you're going to come in and you're going to add some hot water to your 
uh, steak because you don't want to add cold water and cool your stuff down. And you want to cover it just about so with it not overflowing, right? And then what you're going to do, you're going to loosen up all that goodness down now, y'all. Ooh, baby. Look at that gravy. Can y'all see that gravy? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't forget, we're going to add in the beef bouillon, y'all. Baby. Ooh, honey, do y'all see that? I'm going to add in just a little bit more water. That's it right there. Y'all, we're going to add in this beef bouillon as well. Ooh, y'all, it smells so good. Look at that. We're going to add in just a tablespoon. See that? Let's get that in there. So we're going to turn it down because you now want this to. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You want this to simmer. I don't like my splashes, y'all. I'm going to wipe up my splashes now. I don't like that to cook down and get out hard. You know what I mean? Let's get that up. Put it in this nice hot water back here. Now, don't forget, y'all, we're also going to season this gravy as well because you want flavor in your gravy. I'm just giving it a good stir. Making sure all those vegetables are. Now we're going to take that same seasoning. And we're just going to sprinkle it, y'all. Oh, baby. Now what you want to do. Let's rinse off this spoon. You want to taste your gravy. Because, you, you know, when you're cooking it down, you want it to be just right, y'all. So let me give it a, a taste. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, that's good. Oh, ooh, ooh. baby. Mm. That is damn good. So we're going to cover and we're going to let this cook for about 45 minutes or until uh, the steak is tender. Okay, y'all? There you go. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, so we got that on. Now we can concentrate on this okra. All right, y'all. So let me cut that low. Let's get the top. And we're going to cover this and we're going to let it cook. And I'm going to put it on about 45 minutes. I love a timer, y'all. All right, let's get into this.